Hello, in this video I'm going to cover the custom product loader. The custom product loader would allow you to upload products to the website that are not preloaded to display on the site and also sell through the shopping cart. So the first step here in the quick link section on the main page you can click on add custom products and then we're going to click on create a catalog and when you're creating a catalog you're gonna to have to come up with a title of your catalog for this uh, training video I'm gonna use accessories and apparel as the catalog title for the industry you may have one or multiple options you may see power sports could be tires could be lawn and garden marine with my site I'm gonna be choosing power sports and then for company name you can select one from the list or you can choose to add a new one which I'm going to do and we're gonna title it Durfee's accessories and apparel actually I'm just gonna call it Durfee's for now now I'm gonna check off the shopping types here and I'm gonna check off a box for each type of product I'm gonna have in my custom catalog so I'm gonna have apparel products in that catalog. I'm also going to have parts and accessories for ATV, street bikes, and side-by-sides. Now I'm going to click on save and continue which will bring us to the next step of building out the custom catalog and over on the left here we have an option to upload a catalog image. That would be a cover image and on your website on the shopping page it'll list out the catalogs on your website any preloaded catalogs or any custom catalogs so the image that you upload will display on that shop HTM page with the other catalogs so to get that image uploaded we have to click on add new image you would browse to the image on your computer to select for upload and you can always delete that image out and add a new one in its place next off to the right here in the catalog sections and pages box this is where we're gonna build out the sections and subsections in the catalog and then you'll end up uploading your products to those subsections so in the box here we have the title of the catalog up at the top which I'm gonna to click on to select now I'm gonna click on add child which is gonna give us a new node or a new uh, branch to our tree or structure here and I'm gonna click on new node and clear that out and I'm gonna type in the title of my first section which is going to be apparel but now I'm gonna take that section apparel and add child again and that's gonna give us a new node or our first subsection within this section so my first subsection is going to be for hats and now I'm going to highlight apparel again and add off of it again to add another subsection which I'm going to title t-shirts but now I'm going to create a whole nother section so I'm going to go back to the catalog title and highlight it and add child and we're going to have another section for exhaust now I'm gonna highlight exhaust and add a subsection to that for exhaust tips so you're either adding off of the catalog title to add or create a section or you're highlighting the section to add or create your subsections and you can have as many sections as you want in your catalog like apparel and exhaust you can have as many subsections as you want within each section like hats and t-shirts but what you can't do is take these subsections and add or create sub subsections so I always think of it as you have two levels to work with level one is your section level two is your subsection and you'll always be uploading your products to level two or the subsection so down at the bottom here we have a save catalog button so we're gonna save those settings 
Now I'm going to go back to the main custom product screen. Over in the left navigation, we can just click on custom products. And it brings us back to where we first clicked on create a catalog. And now my accessories and apparel catalog has two buttons below it, add and added products and modify structure. Modify structure would just bring us back to where we were. And you can always change your year of the catalog, the title, company name if you like. And you can always adjust your sections and subsections. Well, we're going to move on to the next step here, which is add and edit products. And when we click on add and edit products, you'll have to choose your catalog section. And I'm going to go with apparel. Then you're going to choose your catalog page or subsection. And I'm going to choose t-shirts. Now, once you choose that subsection, then the add a product button populates. And when we click on add a product, we have an edit images button. And when we go into edit images, we can now click on add new images, which pops up the file browser. And I always like to uh, use folders to organize my images. You don't have to use folders, but I can definitely help you organize images within this file browser. So I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to title it accessories and apparel. Same thing as the custom catalog. Now I'm going to click the green check mark and it drops us right into that folder. So now I'm going to click on the upload tab. Now I'm going to click on select files. That's going to have me browse and upload my product images off of the computer. And you can select one or multiple images to upload. I'm holding down the control key to select multiple images. Now I'm going to click open and it's going to go through and upload these images. Now that they're uploaded, I can go back to the Browse tab and I'm going to select all and hit Insert Selected. So now I've got two images for my custom product. You can add as many images as you want and you can choose which one is going to be the primary or the default image for your custom product. Now I'm going to hit the Back to Product button to go back a screen and now I'm going to move on to the edit product button and this is where you're going to put in your item or your product name. Then you would also put in a description. This would be your main product description. Obviously your description is going to be much better than mine, but at least you're going to see where this displays on the website and we're done and I think you're going to get the gist of it. You can also add features if you want. This is not required, but whatever you type in this features field and add, that's going to show up as a bullet point in addition to your product description and you can add as many features as you want. So now I'm going to save the changes on the product info and it brings us back a screen. Now I'm going to click on add variant. So you're going to have to add at least one variant for your custom product, but you may be adding multiple variants. It depends on how many variations or options of that product you have. So if you have different sizes or colors or weights or measurements, you'd be adding a variant for each option of that product. And when you click on add variant, it's going to pull up a new window and this is where you're going to type in the part number for your product. put in the MSRP of the price for your product and then the description well we already have a main product description this is where we're going to describe this variant or option so I'm going to say this part number is for a specific color of this t-shirt and for a specific size and I'm going to save that variant
Now I'm going to add another variant. It's going to have a different part number. It's going to have the same price, but it's going to be for the same color of that t-shirt, just a different size. So I'm going to go with color and white again. But we'll say size medium. So again, you can add as many variants as you want to each product. I'm just going to add two for now. So you ha again, you have to have at least one for the product to be valid. And once you have at least one product in your catalog uploaded, you can then enable that catalog. And again, you'd have to go over into the store section of the catalog or the command center and go to the catalog manager. And once we get to the catalog manager, we're going to go from the active tab to the available tab and I'll list out our custom catalogs here. Now I'm going to check the box for Durfee's custom save changes. I'm going to go back to the active tab and I'm waiting for this to upload it'll pop up a little green box here saying catalogs updated now that I'm on the active tab I can see Durfee's on the list zero enabled so I'm gonna click on that tab to check the box for the accessories and apparel catalog save changes once again And now that the catalogs have been updated, I'm going to publish the website changes. And we go back to the website and refresh on the shopping page. It lists out our custom catalog here, and when I click on my custom catalog, it's going to bring us to a page where it lists out the sections. Well, I had apparel and exhaust as my two sections, but I haven't uploaded any products to exhaust yet or the subsections, so it's not populating. And when I click on the section of apparel, I had two subsections, hats and t-shirts, but hats is not populating yet because, again, I haven't added any products to it. And you can add multiple products to a subsection. So if I had three t-shirts in this subsection and clicked on that subsection, it would list out each product individually. Since I only have one product in that subsection, when I click on it, it's going to go to the product detail page. And we can see here the images that were uploaded through the product. We can also see the product description, features that were added, and then below that would list out your variants. And you would repeat the process for each product you're going to upload. Thank you for your time.